since we may not be able to go trick-or-treating this year, there is one local 10-year-old girl here in our area that came up with an amazing way to actually give back for Halloween. Ashley standing by to learn more. Hi, good morning. This is an incredible story. It really is. And I think we all remember being at the age of 10 and really getting a chance to dress up and go out trick-or-treating. Well, obviously, things are looking a little different this year, which is why Isabella decided to help out in any way that she can. Good morning, Isabella. Good morning. Good morning. We have Zoe here on the right with Women's Empowerment. We'll get to you in just a second. But Isabella, I want to just know from you, in the years, in years past, how have you celebrated Halloween? What do you, what do you usually do on Halloween? Uh, I usually go trick-or-treating. Yeah, and usually dress up in cool costumes, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, this year it's different. So tell me, Isabella, what you wanted to do instead. Organize a fundraiser to raise money for women's leadership. Yeah, for women's leadership. And do me a favor, Isabella, talk really loud for me so we could hear you. Why was it important for you to do this? I mean, you're 10 and you wanted to raise money for women's empowerment. That's a big deal. Oh, I think she froze there. You know what, Zoe, let's go over to you with women's empowerment. When you heard Isabella's story, what, what was your first reaction? Oh my gosh, it's just so inspiring to see a young woman at age 10 years old who took the initiative all by herself to make a difference in her community, especially for women and children experiencing homelessness. So it, we are all so inspired around the office. There's even an email chain about it. It's, a, it's incredible. So let's hop back over to Isabella. So Isabella, how are you raising money? What are you doing for the fundraiser? I set up a, Go, I set up a GoFundMe page and anyone can go on to donate money. Yeah, and can I ask you this question, Isabella? What does women's or even youth empowerment mean to you? I think it means that. Oh, she froze again. She froze again. Okay, let's hop back over to Zoe. No, Zoe, she set up this GoFundMe account for you. I mean, obviously, it's a fundraiser for women's empowerment. So what, what, where were these funds go? Absolutely. Um, Women's Empowerment works to empower women and children experiencing homelessness with the skills that they need to get a job, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and ultimately find housing. This year has been a super challenging one with COVID and everything that's happened. And, um, and for a lot of our women, uh, they have fallen um, on unemployment due to COVID and so uh, the community investing and really uh, putting in their time and their resources to make a difference for these women makes such a difference. Yeah. Thank you so much, Zoe. And unfortunately, Isabella, you kind of kept freezing on us a little bit, but you did a great job smiling through it all. Thank you so much. And Isabella, we'll make sure to link the GoFundMe page on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, if you want to help and assist, of course, in giving back. Women's empowerment, such a great thing. Thank you to Zoe and thank you to Isabella. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for having us. Of course, of course. All right, guys, we'll be right back.